All right, welcome to 12 Volt Cooking. Today I got a little bit of beef and some sweet potatoes. The beef is called uh, Flanken style. It's F-L-A-N-K-E-N style uh, ribs. This just means they're, from what I gathered, they just means they're cut across the bone. I cooked this for one hour and a half and uh, the potatoes may not quite be done. And then I unplugged it and I let it sit for another 10 minutes. Yeah, it looks like they're cooked. Oh, I put in a cup of water because I wanted some of the juice. Because the, since the rib bones are cut across, I wanted some of that bone marrow to cook out. Now, I don't even know if that actually happens. <laughs> but that's what I wanted. So I put in about a cup of water in the bottom. Cooked for one hour and a half. Oh, it's some sweet potatoes. Oh yeah, those sweet potatoes. They're real small sweet potatoes. And they are definitely cooked. That fork, little plastic fork went right through that thing. Watch, I'll just cut this. See that sweet potato is, that took no effort. I, I can't even hold it up to the camera, it might fall off the fork. So as you can see, they're small sweet potatoes. Here's another one, totally cooked. Now I've, if you see my other videos, I've cooked some thick pieces of meat before. And uh, at an hour and a quarter to an hour and a half, I've tempted it. Now, like a chicken will take two hours. A full chicken takes two and a half hours if it's not stuffed. Game hens take about two and a quarter. But uh, like stew meat, meat like this, it's always done at an hour and a half. Hour, sometimes an hour and a quarter. So there's that flanken style. You know, I can't quite get it up to the... I'll put this on the plate and I'll hold it up the camera. I, I, that's today's first time I've seen it, but I'm not some kind of cook. But anyways, it's just it's a it's a very it's very thin meat, and it's cut across the ribs. So that's why I put the water in to see if it'll cook out some of the bone marrow nutrients. Like I say, if that even happens, I don't know. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to cook it dry. So hour and a half, I unplugged. Yeah, it's, it's, this is nice. It's tender. It could probably be a little bit more tender. Well, this one's falling apart. But uh, I don't know if, if an hour and a half is the optimal. I generally tend to just cook my stuff until it's just done. Sometimes I'll put it in for a lot longer. But I'd never done this with water and the foil before, so I wasn't sure if I had sealed it up. Now, there's still... There's a lot of water in the bottom. And uh, it, I'll probably mash these sweet potatoes and pour that on top. Or I'll just drink it out of a cup or something. Um, not too much grease. Probably if I would have known that the juice was going to not evaporate out of the foil, I probably would have cooked this a little bit longer to try to get some more, get a more soupy thing. But uh, this is fine. I want to do here. Oh, for those who don't know, these plug right into your cigarette lighter of your car or truck. I cooked this while I was driving, so make because an hour and a half it will kill your battery. Now you might be wondering why I put it in foil and closed up the top, or if I really wanted it soupy, I would have put in more water and used a bag. Like a like a slow uh, an oven bag or a uh, what do you call it? Oh, I got this those crock pot liner. Crock pot liners fit in these really well. The reason is, even though this is a rubber gasket that seals back here, you can't see because it's dark. But right here, if 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 I've been at work, so my hands are dirty. Sorry about that. But if you look right here, there's a little divot right there. That is a steam vent. The steam will shoot out there about four inches on both sides. So if you don't use if you don't seal up the foil or whatever, all that water would have evaporated away. It would not be in there. Um, and that water has the nutrients that I want from the bones. Now what you can do, and I've done this before, is with thin cuts of meat like this, is you could do it in the in the foil without sealing it. Or what I've done is I've cooked it in one of these uh, little oven pans. They're three for 88 cents at Walmart. 
And what, what you have to do is that water will evaporate out. You have to stop every so, every so often. Like, you know, every after it, after it gets hot, about every 20 minutes or 15 minutes, stop and add a little bit more water. And what'll happen, I did it by accident, is what'll happen is the, uh, the juice, the sugars from the sweet potatoes will go into the meat, and then it goes dry, and the meat comes out really, really sweet like sweet potatoes. So if you want to experiment with that, you can. This time I sealed it up, so that shouldn't happen. So, three strips of meat, three little sweet potatoes. I'm just going to, I'm going to save uh, two of those sweet potatoes for later in the fridge. Just eat one for now. But I'll kill off that meat. This was about, oh, let's see, the meat was three forty-five, dollars And I don't know about the sweet potatoes. It's two bucks for a package. I buy the triple washed sweet potatoes since I'm in my truck. And I, I bought the bag for $1.98. And this was half a bag, so a dollar in sweet potatoes, three and a half in meat, so four fifty, plus a foil. I gotta figure out the cost of the foil because that does, that's heavy duty, and it's double in there. I, I pull it out, then I double it over, and then I put it in there, so it uses quite a bit of foil. So three fifty, even if it's fifty cents, that's four dollars for a meal right there. But like I said, I'm gonna save two of those. Sweet potatoes for later. I like them just cold. Anyway, that's it for this one. It's a uh, flanken style. You know, I don't have a package here because it's raw meat. I, I get rid of those packages as quick as I can since I'm in my semi truck. But I did put a picture. If you can find the blog post to this, just look under the video. I'll have a link to the blog post, and I showed the package. And uh, I, I googled it. It just means that it's the ribs that are cut crosswise. It'll have three ribs cut crosswise. Like I said, I wanted some of that bone marrow stuff to come out into the cooking water. If that even happens, I don't know. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure and check our Facebook page, 12V Cooking. And our website, 12V Cooking. And more videos on here. Thanks for watching. Bye.